Here we are in the old laboratory. And today we're going to be recording some drums. I've set up some lights. This is this is the studio. I've set up some lights on some stands, you see, and whatnot. And we're focusing the attention around here. This is the recording system. There's the keyboards and all that creation stuff. There's guitar rig and all that stuff. Uh, another guitar rig. Uh, so here we go. Brains of the deal right here. Eight channel interface, task cam, 24 channel Behringer board, Mac and Mac. Uh, this is the record Mac. This is the practice Mac and the Mac connected to the cloud and all that. Uh, because I don't connect that one to the cloud at all. That one doesn't get any updates. This one gets all the updates. Uh, so, here's how, I, here's how I have it. I've got an 8-channel interface, which would normally be plenty for a regular kit. Kick, snare, tom, 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 overhead, overhead, etc. Uh, but not this one. I've got 14 open mics. So, there's every tom has a mic. Right there, uh, a couple of overheads, and uh, right there, uh, of course, kick kick drums uh, and the, the the twenty. So there you go. I mean, that's uh, that's a lot of mics. So basically, what I've done is uh, taken all the Tom mics. Tom one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, including the two gong drums, uh, and those are submixed into channels. Four and five, right there. So we have uh, kick, kick, snare, left, right, toms, and skip a channel. And we've got left, right, overheads. And so there you go. Submix the toms into there. Now, the cool thing is, is I've used uh, these through the oxes to uh, add compression. Different levels and the soft knee, hard knee type compression and whatnot. Uh, so, I mean, because of that, th what's coming out of here is extremely punchy. So it's very important. A lot of heavy EQ going on on the toms here to notch and cut and whatnot. And then, of course, on the channel, there is EQ as well. Like, say, I have uh, uh, overhead uh, left and right, right and left, and toms right and left, and then snare and two kicks, and then that would be track, I believe. Yeah. Uh, and so tracks like say for instance toms tom right tom has these eq uh these effects on it so i've got um this eq curve on the right toms um and remember the these these final eqs over here are the sweetener eqs after all the hardcore eqs happen first so that's why it's kind of a gentle slope not, nothing really fancy, but I do run uh, multi-band compression on uh, a lot of stuff. That's important. So here's your multi-band compression and the low mids, highs, mid, high, low mid, high mid, and high. So it's split four ways, but that is crucial. Multi-band is crucial. Uh, snare drum got quite a lot of stuff on it. It's got a cue. It's got a verb. It's just a quick short verb. It has this. Um, also, multi-band compression, same thing I just showed you, with its own setting. And uh, so, that's that's what I do, basically. Just find the right tones. The mics I'm using, of course, I got a 58 here and 58 on the snare, but these are, these are just PDK, PDMK, or whatever. There's a, you get a kit for 100 bucks, seven mics. So, I bought two kits. And, uh, you know, it'd be great to have audits, but I just, I, <laughs> all my money was put into this stuff. So, Mike's, we uh, went on a low end, uh, but we, with the knowledge that we'll just, we'll just doctor it up over here. It sounds fine. I mean, seriously, what am I trying to do? I'm, I'm certainly never going to compete with Quincy Jones. But anyways, that's it. <laughs> That's it, um, that's the kit, and today we'll be recording it, so check it out.
and we'll close up pretty quick. Bye.